Hi everyone, my name is Michael Aguirre and I'm here today at AscentWorks to give you a walkthrough on our Epilogue Helix 75 watt laser cutter. So as we uh, prepare to use the laser cutter, we first want to make sure it's turned on on the side, which right now it is. It's currently online and waiting for a job. And right now we're going to try testing uh, using a TEDx Manitoba print job here, which we're going to etch and cut in wood. Once you have your general design picked out, one of the first things we need to do is, is calibrate the media in the laser cutter. So the media we're going to use today is a quarter inch, 18 by 24 inch piece of plywood that essentially is art grade. That's a key thing with this machine. Is it's a fairly sensitive device from the fact you don't want to be cutting 2x4s and MDF uh, that uh, is construction grade. The less glue, the less particulate that it has, the more effective it will be and the less cleaning time we'll have in the laser. So we're going to take our media here and place it on our bed. The laser cutter itself inside the bed, we actually have our vector cutting table right now here which can be removed over time. We're going to leave it in here for this example. We have our laser that's sitting in its uh, home position right now and we're waiting for the job. First thing we're going to do is stick the media in, line it up. In this case, we can actually see there's a little bit of bow in this particular piece of material. And we're going to want to tape this down to ensure that the laser, as it goes back and forth, doesn't end up pushing down or rubbing against the material. Preferably, your media will be flat and the slight vacuum that comes from using the, the laser cutter while the vent is on should allow that to stay flat. But we're going to tape this just to be sure. All right, so I secured our media with a little bit of tape on the edges just to get rid of the, uh, the bow that was in there. And now we're going to set the home position for a laser cutter. And this is going to make sure that uh, our print job that's on the screen will line up with the actual beginning of the media here in the corner of the media uh, in this edge here. So the first thing we're going to do is go down to the console, turn on the laser pointer. So the red dot is on, where we can see that uh, it's glowing right there, but it's not quite on the edge of the media. So what we want to do is hit the XY off and confirm using go. Now the XY axis are disabled, which allows us to freely move the unit and set our home position right on the edge of the media. Once that's done, it shows our offset on the screen. So, there we go. We can set home. And now, our job is ready for a print. In our particular design, we have three different colors. Black, red, and green. And these are the RGB proper colors. So we actually have uh, black, which is zero, on RGMB. We have red, that's 255 on red, 0 and 0 on, on green and blue, and green which is 0 green on 255, uh, 255 on green and uh, 0 on blue. So with these three colors we're gonna allow a few different things to happen. Black and green we're gonna set up as two different strengths of etching, while red we're gonna assign as a vector cut. So in the epilogue software, we're going to be able to actually uh, configure this to etch and cut at the same time. Now, before we actually start printing and setting up the actual print driver, we want to ensure that our print size, the media size, are the same. So our Coral Draw file here has a page dimension of 24 inches by 18 inches, which is the size, the maximum size of our epilogue Helix 75 watt laser cutter. So the first thing we're going to do, just for simplicity's sake, is we're going to convert that to millimeters. So the page is the same size, but now we have our millimeter settings. And we're going to go into the epilogue print driver and start configuring our cut. Select File, Print, which brings up our general print settings. And we see that our epilogue engraver is selected, and we're going to click on Preferences. When we click on Preferences, it's going to bring up our epilogue engraver print menu. For today's cut, we are going to cut and etch at the same time. So we're going to use a resolution of 600 dpi. Instead of doing just etching raster or just cutting vector, we're going to do combined. 
we're going to do a custom settings on our raster and our vector. So instead of actually configuring the power here, we're going to configure it in the, the color mapping settings. On the main menu here, we also want to set up autofocus for this particular job. And we're going to want to set our piece size equal to the material in our machine, which is 24 inches by 18 inches. So in millimeters, it's 609.6 and 457.2. Once that's complete, we'll click on the color mapping tab and ensure color mapping is turned on. We're then going to actually configure our red, green, and black settings. So the first one, red, is the one we want to actually have cut. So we are going to select it for vector and we're going to select air assist to allow our additional air pump to reduce flame ups. Once we have the setting, we have to refer to our manual to actually pick out the correct settings. The settings which you'll find right beside the cutter for wood at a quarter inch is 20, 75, and 500. So a speed of 20, power of 75, frequency of 500. So that's what we're gonna put in our settings on the screen. So, speed. 20, power, 75, frequency, 500. Now the, the particular settings for your specific wood may be different, so you'll want to test with a test piece before getting into very big detail. Once your settings are configured, you'll want to click the arrow button over to adjust that setting, and we'll move on to our green setting, which is going to be a light etch. So again, Back to our sheet, for our wood, we want to have a power of 80, sorry, speed of 100, power of 80. So for this one, we want a little bit lighter. So we're actually going to have speed 100, power, I'll call it 70. And we'll make sure it's just for raster. Put the arrow key over. And last but not least, we want our black setting, which is gonna be full power. So we're gonna have it speed 100, power 80. I'm actually gonna make it a little bit higher for, for fun. Again, raster, make that setting. Oh. For black, set the RGB. And for power, I'm gonna make it actually slightly over the recommendation. I'm gonna set it to 85. Raster, select the color I wanna overwrite, and hit set. The remaining colors I'm not using, I'm just gonna simply remove and hit OK. Once back at the print driver, it says we have no more issues and we can hit print. We'll actually see the job show up on the system here. So we have job one, our TEDx nameplates. We have the media set up and the red dot showing us we're at the, at the home position. So before we set go, we're gonna do two things. One, we need to set, turn on our, our vacuum and our air assist pump. So, walk on over, flip the switch. The switch on our pump, and press go. And there you have it. In a couple easy steps, anyone can use a laser cutter and the laser etcher to create great new projects. So thank you very much and I hope to see you again soon.